Okay, so we're ready for an, um, another little um, presentation of sample problems. This one being working with molarity. It follows up on our mole video. Um, molarity is used to express the concentration of a solution in terms of moles of solute per liter of solvent. And for us, that solvent is usually going to be water and we'll refer to them as an aqueous solution, meaning made up in water. Now, there are other solvents that can be used for solutions, alcohols, a whole um, host of things. But for the sample problems that we're working, we're going to assume that these are aqueous solutions made up in water. So molarity is expressed in terms of moles per liter. So here we have one molar is equal to one mole per liter. So if we have one mole of an atom or molecule dissolved in one liter of solvent, then that is a one molar solution. And we can abbreviate this as one capital M is equal to one small case MOL over L for liter. So the big M stands for molar right, meaning a concentration, and the small letter, M-O-L, stand for moles, meaning based on how many moles the um, molecular weight that we've already worked on. So let's start working some samples um, to um, see how this works. So the question is, how would you prepare one liter of a one molar aqueous solution of potassium nitrate, the formula being KNO3. So, here we go. The first thing is to list the elements in the molecule, right? And put out here how many of each we have. Okay, so here we're going to try to go to our periodic table and find Okay, potassium, which is 40.078 grams per mole. Okay. Then nitrogen, which is 14.007 grams per mole. And oxygen, which is 15.999 grams per mole. Right, so let's write these down. So the potassium was 40.078 grams. The nitrogen was 14.007 grams. And the oxygen was 15.999 grams. And the oxygen, here's an example of 15.999. Um, some periodic tables using two places will round this off to 16.0 and some of the tutorials you'll be working with have oxygen as 16 and nitrogen is 14. Those um, numbers are, are fine. I'm going to be using in this example the three digit numbers because that's how our little interactive um, periodic table comes up with them. But if you're using uh, a periodic table rounded off, that's fine. So. And our third thing is to carry over how many of each we have, because we're going to multiply by the number of atoms of each element um, okay, to come up in this case with 40.078, 14.007, and then 47.997, right? And for number four down here, we're going to sum those up to 102.082 grams per mole. Okay. So that gives us the uh, molecular weight of um, potassium nitrate in 
grams per mole. So if one molar is equal to one mole per liter, okay, then that's equal to 102.082 grams per liter. So we will dissolve 102.082 grams of potassium nitrate in water to bring to volume or abbreviate that of one liter. All right, so we'll dissolve it and then bring it to volume. So for that question, how we prepare one liter, we uh, weigh out 102.082 grams of potassium nitrate, dissolve it in uh, water and bring it to volume of one liter. So question two, how would you prepare one liter of three molar citric acid? Right, the formula for citric acid is C6H8O7. So, First thing, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, so we have six carbons, eight hydrogen, and seven oxygen. So, periodic table, well there we got oxygen, we're going to need that, so that's 15.999, okay. Hydrogen is one point zero zero seven nine. I'm going to round that up to one point zero zero eight. And my friend carbon is twelve point zero one one. So let's put those values in. So we just said carbon was twelve point zero one one. Hydrogen was one point 0.08 and oxygen is 15.999. Right? So then we're going to times them how many we have. We've got six of those, eight of those, and seven of those. Right? So these are in grams. Put my units in. Um, and so we multiply those, so for carbon we get 72.066 grams. For hydrogen we get 8.064 grams. And for oxygen we get 111.993 grams. So we sum those up. We get 192.123 grams per mole of citric acid. All right, so our question was how do we make a three, one liter of three molars? So if we have one. 192.123 grams per one liter equals one molar, right? So we multiply that times three, right? 192.123 times 3 is equal to 576.369 grams for one liter is equal to 3 molar, right? So 3 molar, right? Uh, right? So Three times one molar is equal to three molar. Right. So if it takes 
one, two, three, that's a three, grams per liter for one molar, then it'd take three times that amount in one liter for a three molar solution. Right. So let's work on a variation on that. which ask us, how do we prepare 500 milliliters of a three molar aqueous solution of sodium carbonate? Um, molecular formula Na2CO3. So, we list our elements, and we have two of those, one of those, and three oxygens. So, back to our periodic table, there's carbon, we can use that, so it's 12.011, and we need sodium, which is 22.990, and then oxygen, which we've used before, which is 15.999. So let's get those values in. Grams, grams, and 15.999 grams. All right, and we'll get our multipliers. There's two of these, one of those, and three of those. So if we do the multiplication, 22.990 times 2 is 45.980. 12.011 times 1 stays 12.011, and then 15.999 grams times 3 is 47.997 grams. So all those are grams. So if we add up the individual elements, we get a molecular mass of 105.998 grams per mole. Okay. So, if one molar equals one mole per liter, three molar is equal to three moles per liter. So we're wanting a three molar solution. Now, if there's three moles per liter, we're only wanting to make up 500 mil, so how many moles are there in 500 mil? So let's change our liter to mil, so we've got 3 moles for 1,000 milliliters is equal to how many moles? and 500 milliliters. So we've got 3 moles times 500 mil is equal to question mark moles times 1,000 mL. So we can get rid of that 1,000 mL by dividing both sides by 1,000. Cancel out, we've got 500 over 1,000, which is 0.5, so we've got 3 moles times is equal to our unknown moles, so that comes out to be 1.5 moles. So we're going to need 1.5 moles. So if there's 105.998 gram per one mole, okay, how many grams are there in 1.5 moles? 
So, 105.998 times 1.5 moles is equal to our unknown grams times 1 mole. Right? So, basically, dividing both sides to get rid of that mole on the right side. Then the moles cancel out, we're dividing by 1, and so we basically become 105.998 times 1.5 equals the number of grams, our unknown number, right, which that comes out to be 158.982 grams. Right. Is our one hand much so? And the thing is, so we dissolve 158.982 grams in water and bring to volume to 500 ml. So, what we've got, we've got 1.5 moles in 500 mils right, is 3 molar, right? Of 1.5 moles in 500 mils would be equal then to 3 moles in 1 liter. So we did that in our two proportions. First, we decided if we were only making 500 mils, right, a 3 molar solution is 3 moles per 1,000 mils, but we're only making 500. So how many moles do we need in 500 mils? We decided that was 1.5 moles. And what is 1.5 moles of the sodium carbonate? Right. 1.5 moles then is 158.982 grams. Okay, so this problem asks us how will we make 1.25 liters of a 600 millimolar aqueous solution of sodium bicarbonate? And we have then the formula for sodium bicarbonate is NA8CO3. So you look at these problems and, you know, we're going to be working with moles, so we're going to be wanting to know the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate. And then you look at the question, what is your volume, in this case 1.25 liters, and what is your concentration? 600 millimolar. So those are the things you're looking for is how to get 1.25 liters at a concentration of 600 millimolar. So first let's work on our sodium bicarbonate. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. So we've got one and one and one and three. And so hopefully you seen the periodic table often enough, you can find the sodium is 22.990. Hydrogen, we decided, was 1.008. Carbon, we found as 12.011 grams. And oxygen, 15.999 grams. Okay, so times 1 times 1, times 1, times 3. All right. So, that one's going to say 22.9, oh, 22.990 grams, 1.008 grams, 12.011 grams and 15.99 times 3 is 47.997 grams. So we add those and we get 84.006 grams per mole of sodium bicarbonate. Right. 
So if one molar is equal to one mole per liter, 600 millimolar equals 600 millimoles per liter. So when we're expressing molarity, it's always going to be expressed in terms of liters. So if it's one molar, it's one mole per liter. If it's 600 millimolar, it's 600 millimoles per liter. If it's five molar, it's five moles per liter. So when we see this 600 millimole, we can just say that's 600 millimoles per liter. All right. So if we want 600 millimoles per liter, Right? And we're wanting to make uh, 1.25 liters. Right? How many millimoles do we need? Right? Here's our cross multiplying divide, or cross multiplying. So we get 600 millimoles times 1.25 liters is equal to our unknown millimoles times one liter. Right. So we'll get rid of that one liter by dividing both sides. So we get 600 millimoles times 1.25 liter divided by one liter. equal to our unknown millimoles. Okay. Um, either, you saw me add the E there, either MOL or MOLE is okay for moles in the small case. Um, so when we get rid of the liters, we divide by one, we wind up at 600 millimoles times 1.25 is equal to our unknown millimoles, right? So 600 times 1.25 right, is equal to 750 millimoles. So we're going to want our 750 moles in our um, 1.25 uh, mils. So how do we figure out what our weight, how much do we have to weigh out to get 750 millimoles? So if we know back from up here, 84.006 grams per mole, so 84.006 grams for one mole is equal to how many grams for 750 millimoles. Okay, so we need to convert this mole again. I mean, one mole equals 1,000 millimoles. So, We've got 84.006 grams over 1,000 millimoles is equal to how many grams over 750 millimoles? All right, so here's our cross multiplying on our proportion. So 84.006 grams times 750 millimoles is equal to our unknown grams times 1,000 millimoles. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides. Okay, to get, to cancel, get rid of the, um, grams there, 
So we get rid of that and divide 750 by 1,000. And then we're going to get 84.006 grams times 0.75. We're going to get our, our unknown grams. Right? So when you multiply that, you get 63.005 grams is how much we need to give us the 750 millimolar. So we're going to dissolve 63.005 grams in water and bring to volume 1,250 ml, which is 1.25 liters. Right. So that's going to give us 1.25 liters at 600 millimoles. Right. So if we wanted 600 millimoles per liter, right, to give us 1.25 liters, it was going to take us 755 millimoles. So right, if there's 84.006 grams per mole, right, Right. If we multiply that times 0.75, that means there's going to be 63.005 grams per 750 millimoles. And putting that into 1.25 liters makes the concentration 600 millimolar. Well, I hope these little sample problems uh, help you in seeing the process you go through to work these um, problems. I know it's going to take it takes a little getting used to about moles and millimoles and grams, but as I said in an earlier uh, proportions video, it's just um, uh, it's just proportions. You just have to start thinking in uh, terms of that. So there's a uh, a pretty systematic way of going about solving these problems. Um, like I say we have uh, some interactive tutorials for you to work through some problems. Um, and then in the text, there are a number of sample um, 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 problems. So just, just work some problems so you get comfortable with them. Like I say, I hope this helps. And I say you have on the uh, blackboard in this module, you have the interactive um, um, periodic table. Um, um, so you can uh, keep that just kind of minimized in your tray and keep calling it up to get your uh, values. Or if you have uh, a paper um, periodic table, you can use that. There's also in the back of the textbook, there's a list of the atomic weights of the element. So um, work some of these problems and have fun solving them. Thanks.